What's going on everybody and welcome to a brand new series on making a tic-tac-toe game using the basics of Python. Okay, so we are going to be using... Okay, so in this video we are just going to print a board. We are not going to input any values and we are not going to check for any events. We are just going to print the board, right? So for a board we are going to be using a 3x3 three three matrix here. Well, later on we are going to change it to a variable size matrix, but right now we are just going to use a 3x3 three three matrix. Okay, 0, 0 and 0, 0. I'm going to press enter, tab. Okay, so it looks good now. Uh, now, if I just print board, I say control B, uh, you can see it's not look, it, it doesn't look like a tic tac toe board, right? So we are not going to use the print function right away. We are going to you. We are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to be using for loop. I'm going to say for row in board and for call in row. I'm going to say print call. Okay, Control B, and as you can see, it prints all the elements in a new line, right? So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to say end is equal to an empty string or I'm going to be using a space. Okay, let's use a space. And here I'm going to say print an empty string. Okay, so as you can see, we have a three by three made, uh, we have a three by three output now. So we can use this as a tic-tac-toe game. Okay, uh, but for the user to input it, we need to define some accesses, right? So I'm going to be making a horizontal and a vertical axis so for for the horizontal axis i'm going to say print a string where i ranges from 0 to the length of board i'm going to say control b okay so it prints the list of 0 1 and 2 but we don't want this quote and the single quote and the comma right so i'm going to join these by using a join function with spaces so i'm going to define a string with space and i'm going to say and i'm going to say join and here another bracket and i'm going to say control b and they're good to go right now for vertical axis we need zero one and two before these zeros, right? These initial zeros of every row. For that, we'll, we'll have to change the way we are printing things. I'm going to make an empty string here, lm row, empty string. And instead of printing this string, a uh, printing call here, I'm going to just add it to the lm row. Row, sorry, row plus equals to string of call. I'm going to force change it to string and I'm going to say plus space. Uh, oh, oops, I have to print it right. LM row. Yeah. Now, now for horizontal, uh, for the vertical axis, I'm going to you. I'm going to be using a integer count, which is equal to zero right now, and I'm going to be printing count before LM row and i'm going to increase it by one after we print count okay so we have our vertical axis too okay we need to align this horizontal axis so i'm going to be using two spaces and i'm going to say add here control s control b okay so we have our what we say we have our board with these axes okay now we also know like tic-tac-toe game contains some line as you can see we need horizontal and vertical lines and now all right so for that i'm going to say i'm going to be using this character right here i'm going to say control b it's good we have our horizontal lines we have our vertical lines. sorry and after this printing row i'm going to say print print I'm going to give a couple spaces and then I'm going to use hyphens. A bunch of hyphens. Control B. Okay, this looks good. Yeah, but as you can see, we, we don't need these uh, this line and these uh, vertical lines, right? 
at the end so i'm going to make some more changes here i'm going to say for call i'm going to be using slice function for call or for call in row colon len of board board minus one control b so now it's printing only two elements not the third element so i'm going to print the third element after it so lm row plus equals to string of row and len of board minus one minus one minus one okay control b so we have tackled this and now we have to remove this the last row of hyphens so for that i'm going to just going to put up a condition here i'm going to say if count is not equal to len of board minus one colon i'm going to give a tab here control s control b and we're good okay okay we need to align this too we need to align our horizontal axis i'm going to give two spaces here control s control b okay so it's aligned now okay we are pretty much done we have made we have we know how to print a board now okay i'm going to make it i'm going to make a function here print underscore board i'm going to pass a board here which is named current board and colon control s i'm going to use tabs here we're making a function right now okay yeah i have to change this to current board here to current board board current board current board okay here to current board current board okay control s control b and okay we need to call this function now print board and i'm going to pass board here control s control b what's wrong oh sorry control s control b and we are good yeah okay now now what if uh let's say player one you occupies this space and player two occupies this position so it's going to print one and two here now using when we play tic-tac-toe we don't use one and two we use x and zeros right so we need to make some more changes here i'm going to define another function lm print and i'm going to pass l here and i'm just going to say if l is equals one and it has to return x l if uh, l is equals two it will return o yeah and if else it returns zero it returns a space okay it returns space now instead of adding this here i'm going to say lm print and call and here i'm going to say okay i'm just going to add a function sorry lm print thank you plus equals to is that it okay it's a control b yeah so what we have done now is it's it's not returning zero here it's just returning an empty blank empty space and instead of showing one it's showing x and player two is o okay that's it for this video we're done with the printing board function and in the next video we're going to take inputs in our tic-tac-toe tic -tac board if this video was fun for you guys Please share this video as much as you can and 
show some support to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye